Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode of my river guide for Switzerland. Today we are in the wonderful high valley of the Engadin on the Chersun section of the Inn. There are multiple put ins. Usually we choose the raft put in in Souche. On the first few kilometers, the river is characterized by lightly blocked cataracts that are interspersed with flood sections. The next possible put in is at the maintenance depot below Souche at the end of such a cataract. Until Lavin, the inn flows in a mostly open riverbed. At the upper border of the village, after the car loading, there is a timber yard, which can also be chosen as a put in. Below Lavin, the river is digging in. This starts properly with a sometimes sharp corner along a rock wall. From here on down to the bridge of Chersun, the road is visible far above the water. In Chersun, there is the last possible put in, which can also be the put out for less experienced kayakers. The cars, however, have to be parked pretty high up at the train station. Starting from here, the canyon starts proper. Up to this point, the difficulties were between Whitewater 2 and 3, but arise in the following section to Whitewater 4. Beginning in June, the water levels are no longer too high. We are always here in September with a moderate level of 16 cubic meter per second at the gorge in Carasp. Depending on the weather, there might still be enough water till October. The basic rule of the Chersun Canyon dictates, when in doubt, take the left route. This year there was some forest clearing work going on, which resulted in a few additional blocks, sometimes in critical locations. The proper kickoff is the Prussian catapult, a groove that may not have the most straight run-up depending on the water level. Portage on the left side is easily possible. Major section of the difficulties lie between here and the second crux, the staircase. Here as well the road is a river left far above. About 200 meters below the Prussian catapult, there is a somewhat longer straight section with considerable gradient. Especially at summer water levels, there are quite a few sticky holes that like to eat up unaware kayakers. After some curves, one reaches the staircase, which is below a rock wall on the right riverside. On the left side, one can take a look at it and also portage. Directly after, there are a few more drops, before the difficulties recede. Let me also mention the tusks below a high rock wall left that sometimes have tricky and narrow passage on the left side. Once a large pool is reached where it looks like the river branches, one can find the passage again on the far left side around a large boulder. When the put-out bridge below our depths becomes visible, full concentration is required once again because the screwdriver doomed already a few kayakers on the last few meters. The cars cannot be parked directly at the put-out, but there is a large place somewhat upwards towards the depths. For loading, one is allowed to drive down. You can find additional information down in the description. 
If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!